Hi everyone and welcome back to our Google Chrome training. In this lesson, we're going to look at five tips to help you get organized with all of those tabs that you've been hoarding. First up in our bag of tricks with tabs is reordering them. Just as with other browsers, you are used to dragging your tabs left to right to organize them. So the same is true here with Chrome. Our second trick is pinning tabs. With Chrome, you can right click on a tab and select pin. These pins automatically are shifted to the far left of the browser with additional tabs following after that to the right. Pinned tabs are smaller and only show the site's icon. To unpin a tab, you can right click again and select unpin. With multiple pinned tabs, you can rearrange them as needed. A little pro tip for you, pin the tabs that you use daily. Maybe that is Gmail, Google Drive, Google Calendar, etc. Pin those tabs and they will remain there. Now the third tab trick that I love is called tab groups. Right click on a tab and then select add tab to new group. Give this new tab group a name and then select a color. In my case, I'm going to call this group Google. Great, so we have our first group with only one tab in it. Let's add some more tabs. You can repeat that process of right clicking and then selecting the existing group, or you can just drag and drop your existing tabs into that group. Notice that as you drag the tab close to the group, the group's color will outline the tab to indicate it's being absorbed into that group. To remove a tab, you can repeat that same process of dragging and pulling a tab out of the group, or you can right click on the tab and select remove from group. Are you ready for the best part? Click on the color name of the group and watch as your group shrinks and disappears. Clicking it again will open up the group. For those minimalists or those that need help with tab organization, I really hope you just felt the weight and the stress of your tabs lifted off your shoulders with this one simple tab feature for Chrome. Another thing about these tab groups, at any time you can go back up to that group to right click on it and then update the name or the color. Notice your additional options here are to save the group, create a new tab in the group, to ungroup everything altogether, to delete the group, or to move the entire group to a whole new window. Great, so now you have three tab tricks in the bag. Let's look at the fourth trick. It's called tab search. To find tab search, you're going to look for an upside down carrot symbol in the top left corner for PC and the top right corner for Mac. Once the tab search is open, you can search for existing tabs. Click on a tab to open it or click on the X to close out that tab. Great. Now there's another way to do this tab search. Let's open a new tab, but before you touch your mouse, instead of using that plus new tab button, let's use a keyboard shortcut. It's going to be control plus the letter T if you're on a PC or command plus the letter T on a Mac. This will open a brand new tab. Now that you have your new tab in the address bar, type at tabs and press the space bar. Type in a keyword for the tab you're looking for and select the tab once you find it. So notice how quickly and easily you opened up a brand new tab without even touching your mouse. So wasn't that awesome? Speaking of that whole control or command plus T keyboard shortcut, if you add a shift to that keyboard shortcut, it will open up recently closed tabs. So we have recently closed some tabs. Now let's do control shift T if you're on a PC, command shift T if you're on a keyboard. And there you go. Notice how it opened up a recently closed tab. Now that's going to be a trick you find yourself using daily. So tip four was tab search with a little bit of extra on keyboard shortcuts. So for tip five, let's organize the multiple windows of Chrome you may have open. First, find the empty space to the right of the plus new tab button and then right click and select name window and then give it a name. Repeat for additional windows that you may have open. 
Now this window name will be displayed in a variety of places and be dependent on the type of device or operating system that you are on. On both a PC and a Mac, when you right click on the Chrome app, wherever that may be located, you'll see a similar menu such as this and the window names will be shown. Also, when you right click on a tab and select move tab to another window, it will list the name of the other windows here as well, which just makes everything easier when trying to move tabs. All of this talk about tabs is great and all, but do you have to redo this every single day? No, not if you don't want to. So let's check out a little trick in our settings. So in the top right corner, click on the three dots. Down at the bottom, select settings. Along the left, select on startup. And from here, you can select what Chrome should do the next time you turn on and log into your computer and then launch Chrome. Your options are to open a new blank tab, to continue where you left off, or to open a specific page or set of pages. What you select here may depend on how much you use the pin tabs or the tab groups, and also if you decide to save any tab groups. For many users, selecting continue where you left off is sufficient. If you find yourself not really into the tab groups or the pin tabs, really look at this last option for opening specific pages on startup. If you do want to use this last option, a good little trick is to go ahead and clear out all of your tabs that you don't use regularly, and then click use current tabs. That's much quicker than adding each one by hand with the add a new page button. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.